Hi, Adrian Cosman Jones here from Onsite Helper, a Google Cloud partner. And today I want to share some exciting news from Google. They're introducing a revamp of their G Suite. Um, they're doing a rebrand and calling it now Google Workspaces. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some of the things that you might be interested in, especially comparing some of the different packages and what's Google's vision for the future. So as you can see here, here's a little infographic or presentation of Google's workspace. So it's basically the um, existing G Suite uh, suite of applications, um, and they've just been rebranded and renamed. Um, so Google's uh, vision for the future is um, to make uh, work more accessible for remote, especially after the, the, the pandemic. A lot of organizations are going to find remote working is going to be a lot more popular. As you can see, an estimated 48% of workers will continue to work remotely post COVID. Um, time is obviously more precious. Uh, one in four parents um, are also doing caretaking, looking after their child and trying to work at the same time. And people are feeling less connected as well. Um, so having the tools um, is very important. To, to keep these teams well communicated and connected. So yeah, Google's vision is to imagine a world where, um, you know, the flexible solutions where you can work from office or home and have the same environment. You've got helpful tools to get maximum productivity um, and simple human centered design um, deepens connection as well. Uh, so G Suite currently has about 2.6 billion users. This covers, um, you know, the education as well as business environment. So it's well used throughout the world. And so these are some of the, the big companies that are currently using it, Spotify, Netflix, uh, Airbus. So if you go to the Google or G Suite webpage, which is now being renamed to Workspace, this is going to show you your options if you're a new, new to come onto this platform. It'll give you your different package options as well as the pricing and just a comparison, which I'll run you through now. So to start off with, uh, Business Starter is just basically replaced the, the old G Suite basic package. Uh, the pricing is the same. The, uh, the amount of storage is the same. Um, basically, all these features look pretty much the same as the G Suite basic package. Um, so that's now the Business Starter. And then you've got uh, Business Standard. So this, this is the package which is basically split up into two. Uh, previously, this was just called G Suite Business, uh, which was more looking like the, um, the Business Plus uh, package. Just to, now it's got a couple of extra options, but um, the pricing for the standard is the same uh, as G Suite Business, $16.80 a month. Um, they have made a couple of changes here though. Uh, well, one, one of the features now is you get to record your video meetings. Um, 250 participants in the meetings as well. Um, so this was actually feature enabled for all G Suite versions for during COVID, uh, but come September 30, they actually removed the recording feature um, and that's always been available in enterprise. But now with this new package, uh, it's available under the, uh, the business and the recording's really great, especially if you're having meetings, you just record them um, and then you can send them to people that might not have attended or um, watch them later to to re recap on your notes, um, or even use them as training videos. So previously it was unlimited storage. Um, now it's two terabytes um, storage per user. So this is combined with, you know, your emails, Google Drive storage. Um, if you're using shared drives, it probably wouldn't count towards this. Um, for individuals, two terabytes per person. So if 10 users, you have 20 terabytes total for your company, which is a huge amount. Uh, security management controls, that's pretty much stayed the same. Obviously, you get a bit more support from Google. Um, so the business plus, the difference is here, um, e-discovery and retention. So that's Google Vault product. That was previously available um, under the G Suite business, but now has moved to the business plus. So Google Vault's just to um, get sensitive emails back or, or search for things that might have been deleted. It's not, it's not a backup as such. That's a great way for what they call e-discovery, where you know if, if you've got a particular client that you want to get all the information for, you can type in the, the business name or an email address, and that will uh, search everyone's users and everyone's documents and, and, and present them to you all in a, in a nice file, so you can quickly find the data you're after. 
250 participants in your video meeting. So this is a little bit higher than the, the 150, um, as well as recording, um, some extra features like uh, attendance tracking, even more storage, five terabytes per user, um, enhanced security management controls. Um, so just more around the vault um, and endpoint management. Uh, so this this allows you to um, specify or, or install a Chrome extension on on your end users and and choose which who can access who can access uh, what um, in your G Suite. So you can have more control of that. Um, also an inventory to see what devices um, are being used by your G Suite. Um, and then we've got the enterprise. So the enterprise hasn't really changed much. The pricing uh, is still the same. Um, and these, these, these have been there in place. So the, the S-MIME uh, encryption. So S-MIME is, um, I'll take you through that in a minute, um, basically to end-to-end -end email encryption. A couple of extra features on the, the video conferencing, uh, noise cancellation um, and live streaming. Um, unlimited storage, uh, which was the case before, and as well as you've got your data loss prevention uh, data regions. So you can actually choose where you want your data stored. However, we don't really get that option here in Australia, but if you're in Europe, um, you could keep your data stayed in Europe to be compliant with um, their laws or, or Americans and so forth, uh, as well as support. So now I'm going to go into some detail exactly uh, what each one includes. So first of all, I'll, I'll expand it all just to, to see what they are. So Gmail hasn't really changed too much. Um, so now if we look at uh, Google Meets, which is a video conferencing unit, you can see they've got a lot of stuff coming soon, which should be um, coming very soon. So they're really aiming it towards um, being a, a great Zoom competitor. So a lot of the features that Zoom have, they're now bringing it into, into Meet so you can use this rather than having to purchase an additional product uh, for your video meetings. Um, so as you can see, you've got your different levels of participants. Um, you got your dialing numbers, um, digital whiteboard. Um, that's a cool feature where you can sort of have a whiteboard within your, your meeting and, and draw things. Um, other people can collaborate, um, just an easy way to present. So meetings recorded into Google Drive. Um, obviously, it's only available on these products here. Um, so straight after the meeting, it automatically gets saved to Google Drive. Then you can just share it with whoever was attending. Really easy way to do it. You don't have to download things or muck around with that. It's all ready to go. Um, and then, yeah, obviously these other additional features which will be um, coming soon and you can see they're available in the different um, versions. The noise cancelling um, is quite a good feature. We've had a play with that. Um, really handy if you're in a noisy environment, especially people working from home, they might have kids around or you know, they might be in a call centre or whatever it is. Um, this will cut down um, the background noise and make your video session a lot smoother. Uh, so we'll move on to, to Drive. Um, so fe features here, um, you don't get shared drives as you didn't previously for the for the um, starter or, or basic. Um, and you've got the, so just, just a bit on shared drives. Um, this is basically what it looks like. Um, it's just a better way to organize your, your data rather than keeping stuff in your My Drive and then sharing it with others you can have these sort of company level folders and then you set the permissions and access there. And when people move files in there, um, that owner now be, that, that uh, shared drive becomes the owner of the file. So you don't have this issue of um, people accident, you know, if you terminate an account, then suddenly all these files go missing because um, they're the owner. So it keeps your data a lot easier to find and a lot more secure by using shared drives. Highly recommend if you're going to be using Google Drive. Um, so that's only available in these three, it's not available in basic. So chat is your internal messaging system. Um, basically, you know, you've got your, your, your chat sessions here, um, and you can have chat rooms, um, and so forth. So chat is available for all versions of, uh, workspace, or there's a few features you might, uh, want. 
One in particular one is to chat outside your domain. So if you want to send chat messages to other people using G Suite or, or Gmail, um, you might be after the um, other products here. Google Calendar hasn't really changed too much. Um, as you can see, all versions are enabled. Um, Doc sheets, slides, a lot of this is um, on all versions, so I won't go through that. Um, custom branding for documents and forms using templates. Uh, so Google Templates is a great little feature. Um, so basically within um, Drive, you can basically go to new, instead of creating a new doc, you can grab one from your template gallery. Um, and you basically have these pre-configured um, templates ready to go. So this is our company letterhead, um, or we might have sales contracts, and you can basically create your own um, template um, headings and then save them in those particular areas. Uh, as well as templates, um, they've got the connected sheets. Um, so connected sheets is basically Google Sheets on steroids. Um, what they're doing is they're getting um, things called big data where you can basically have you know, billions of rows of information in a, in a Google Sheet, pulling data from everywhere, and then you can analyze it, use formulas. Um, so if, you're, if your organization's very data heavy, um, you know, Google connected sheets would, would be great for you. Uh, app sheet. Uh, so with app sheet, um, what this allows you to do is create some automation uh, with your cloud services. Uh, so basically, you, know, you could create an automation in this particular video. They show how you know, a Salesforce order, a, a new sale comes in. Um, it gets approved by the manager via the, you know, sends an email out and it sends an update to the team via um, Google chat as a message and it creates an invoice automatically through the invoicing system. So it's using multiple um, cloud applications and creating a, a workflow um, to do that. And it's quite simple to run, to do yourself. It's sort of, you don't need to know coding or anything like that. It's just drag and drop and connect your application. So uh, a great productivity time saver, especially for repetitive tasks. Um, good idea to have a look at AppSheet um, automation. Uh, so that's only available in the enterprise version. So Google Currents uh, is basically what was previously called Google Plus. Uh, Google Plus was sort of Google's social media type um, tool for businesses to allow sort of internal communication, chats, um, sharing content, that type of thing. So it's been replaced by Currents. Um, yeah, great way to connect with your team members. Um, We've got Cloud Search. So Cloud Search is a great way to um, search all of your um, Google services uh, for particular files. So let's say if you, you're not sure um, what, where you saved a particular file of, of, of a client, what you can do is just put in that client's name or, or name of a file or an email address in this Cloud Search platform. Um, that will search via Google Gmail, um, Google Drive, Calendar, Tasks, um, Keep, everything. It will present it nice and neat for you so you can just quickly find your data. Great way to find things. Um, so that's available in these two, uh, Business Standard and Plus. However, in Enterprise, it actually has um, third-party data. So what you can do is you can have an API integration. So if you've got another uh, place where you've got a lot of data, it can basically present um, the, the search result based on that. So for instance, we've got a system called IT Glue where we install all of our clients' um, internal documentation for, for our IT network information. Um, with that integration, we wouldn't have to search in two different places. We could just use Google Cloud Search and we'd find everything related to Google that we've saved on Google, as well as saved in any other application. Um, so finding stuff is a lot more efficient. So under security and management, uh, a lot of these security features are still in place. Two-step verification, we're really trying to push this out for all of our clients. This, in my opinion, this is a must have. This will really lock, lock down like 99% of all um, hacking of, of your 
G Suite accounts. So this basically requires you to have a mobile phone or another device to log in um, to prove that it's really you in case someone does get your email address and password, which is quite easy to do. Um, Cause once they're in, they can access everything. So highly recommend you enforce this in your organization. Uh, endpoint management. Um, so we've got the fundamentals under starter and standard. So again, this um, enables you to see what devices and uh, can access G Suite. Um, then under advanced and enterprise, uh, advanced you can specify uh, you know which devices you're allowed to do what. Um, you know, can they access Google Drive data, or do you want to just restrict to email? Um, and enterprise even takes it further where. Uh, I'll just bring up one of these blogs I created. So you can install a particular uh, thing on Windows, on your Windows machines, where you log in uh, using a single sign-on, using your Google account to your Windows device. Um, and then from there, because of the enterprise features, you get a few extra features where you can actually manage that Windows computer centrally. So you can um, organize how the patches are rolled out, make sure that they, they are patched and you get reports on that to make sure that the security on that machine's uh, up to date. Um, you can enforce encryption of the hard drives if they're laptops and if they get stolen, you know, people can't just take out the hard drives and take the data out because the, the data will be encrypted. Um, and, you know, you can't, a cyber criminal or a thief couldn't access the data because um, of the encryption. Um, and, and there's quite a few other things. So I've basically created a video on how to, how to do that. You can watch this video and, and learn more about uh, Windows 10 um, and, and Google Workspace um, Enterprise uh, Endpoint Management. Uh, so Vault, again, I mentioned that's the place where you, you know, all your data is, is, there's a copy of it. So if things do get deleted, it's not a backup, but you can do a search for a particular client and get all that information across multiple accounts and, and get get that information quite easily. Data loss prevention. Um, so with data loss prevention, uh, I've created a couple of videos on this as well. So you can actually set up rules within Google Drive and Gmail to say if we detect any credit cards or if we detect you know our client database or something like that, we don't want that stuff to be sent via email. Um, so we there's some data we want to keep within the organization. And this really helps prevent any data breaches um, and that type of thing. So that, that's another feature available in enterprise. Um, cloud identity. Um, so with cloud identity, uh, this basically enables Google to be the authoritative server for a lot of your cloud services. So you think you get things like single sign-on where, where your Google account um, can can log into your other third party applications. Um, so a lot of this you, you get sort of included, um, but some of these are only available in, in the enterprise and especially around the um, endpoint management. So all your mobile devices, um, you can really restrict how they can um, access G Suite and how you can control the data on them. You know, if they do get lost, you can remotely wipe the data um, you can have, you can approve, you know, only allow certain approved devices to, to access that. Um, then we've got context aware access. So context aware access, again, what I mentioned before is you can specify, um, you know, which users can access G Suite on what devices. You can even break it down to maybe per region. So you can say only uh, people in Australia can ever log into G Suite uh, or, sorry, Google Workspaces. Um, they can, you know, they, or you might say they can only access Google Drive within Australia or Gmail. Um, you can even lock it down to, you know, maybe IP address or approved devices where you install a Chrome um, extension and then you, you allow that particular browser to access the, the, the Google data. So again, this really prevents any hacking or or any data loss. Um, and again, I've created a video on how to set that up. Um, and I'll provide these links as well. Security Center. Uh, so this is basically a platform, uh, a single plane of glass, which will show all your uh, security alerts um, issues. So you can um, act quickly. Um, you get 
alerts, you know, if, if there's potentially a user which has had many attempted logins, that might create an alert to say, okay, well, someone's trying to hack into this account or you know, this particular account sending out a lot of emails. Um, again, these alarms um, might be raised so that these features available enterprise. Um, email encryption using SMIME. Um, so I've created another video about um, advanced email pr protection using SMIME. So what this does is it enables full email encryption. Um, it prevents uh, emails at rest from being accessed because um, a, lot, a lot of these emails will be encrypted via transit. So when they are sent out um, over the internet, they, they will be encrypted between two points, but when they're sitting up in between servers or sitting on, at rest on, on computers and um, cyber criminals could hack in and get access to that information. But if you've got email encryption enabled with, and you need, require a digital certificate, um, they won't be able to access it. It's a bit like um, having HTTPS on, on the web, web page compared to HTTP. That's the encryption element of that. Um, so it's making sure your emails are far more secure um, with encryption. Um, and data regions, as I mentioned at the start, you can specify which countries your, your, or which region your, your G Suite star data stays in. But at this stage, um, you can't select uh, Australia or, or Asia Pacific. Um, it's just Europe and, and the Americans. Um, access transparency. So this is reports um, in or audit logs in, in, in Google Workspace, which will show um, you know, who's been accessing what files, um, that type of thing. So you can do audits if, if you have any suspicions of, of any foul play within your organization. So that's really it for the workspace. Um, uh, on this page, they also talk about some additional things you can get. Um, Google Meet hardware, uh, which is a video conferencing unit, which will sit in your meeting room. Um, people can just tap a screen and join a meeting right away. Um, Jamboard, large display device where you can um, interactive whiteboard, really, uh, and Chrome Enterprise. So this talks about um, you know, having Chrome devices, Chrome books, um, or, or Chrome powered operating system on devices. So a way you can really have everything secure, not, not be using Windows or Apple. Um, it all happens within the Google ecosystem and can be very locked down and secure and very cost effective too. You know, you're probably looking at half the price to manage a Chrome enterprise environment compared to a Windows uh, or Mac environment. A couple of applications here, Google Voice, not available in Australia yet, uh, and the app sheet we covered before. So that's that's really it. I um, hope that uh, explains a bit more about um, the different options when you go to Workspace and what you might be interested in. And as I mentioned at the start, there are some um, great uh, specials available for upgrading between um, to go to higher plans. So speak to us if you're interested in that. Um, these, these are taking effect as of now. Um, if you've got existing contracts with, with, with us or with Google, um, then you know, they, won't, they won't be changed until that contract's up for renewal. Um, but if you're new to start up, start up a new account, um, as of today, you'd be selecting one of these um, new plans which are, which are at the top here. Um, and yeah, hopefully this has been informative. If you need any help, please contact us at onsitehelper.com. Um, we'll be more than happy to advise which package would be best for your organization. Thank you.